Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I haven't been on here in probably about three months and that's because um, the last video I recorded was packing my hospital bag and we went to the doctor the next day and found out that our daughter didn't make it and we had to birth her and everything like that and so I've just been dealing with a lot of emotional things. Um, but I did want to come on here and pretty much talk about how we're going to try to conceive again and it um and pretty much what's going on with me so after we gave birth to her which was january 26 i got the depot shot uh the depot shot i didn't know a lot about and honestly i didn't i wish i would have never gotten it but you know that's kind of what happens when you don't have a lot of information on a product um and that's kind of why I'm at odds with my OBGYN because, first of all, my daughter passed away. And I know you can't blame them, but it's just a symptom of what happened um, of grieving. It's kind of how I deal with it, not blaming them, but kind of saying, okay, something could have been seen. Something had to be missed or something like that. Um, but this video... It's pretty much me showing y'all or telling y'all about the things that I'm going to do after this wears off. So I got it the 20, probably the 27th of January because we gave birth to her on the 26th and I was discharged the 27th. And um, if you want to know if any women out there that's dealt with stillbirth want to know my story, just let me know. Comment below. Other than that, then I probably won't share it. Um, but... I just wanted to let y'all know the things that I was going to do in order to get it out of my system because um, I'm supposed to go back April 27th to get it again. Like I said, I wish I never would have got it, but, you know, things happen for a reason. So it probably wouldn't have been smart for me not to get it and then end up being pregnant before this time. But it's just like you can't go back on a lot of things. And, oh, that's what I've been wishing for the past few months. But... April 27th, I'm supposed to be doing, um, going back to get another shot, which I will not be doing, but, um, we're going to try to conceive and it will probably take a few months and that's during that time we're going to be working, saving up, trying to move, different things like that. I want to be pregnant before we move, so while we're in the new place, we can actually, um, be pregnant and everything. So, uh, lately I've been taking this... Yoji Detox Tea. I've been doing a lot of research on um, the Depo shot and the main hormone in it is progesterone. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and that's pretty much what is keeping me from getting pregnant and which is keeping me continuously bleeding. Some women, it thins out their uterus and it makes them unable to get pregnant. Mine thinned out my uterus and made it to where I'm continuously bleeding. So I haven't stopped bleeding since I gave birth. And so um, I've been taking this, which is the Yoji Detox Tea. It might be backwards on camera, but this has like a lot of things. And I've been doing my research. I'm not just randomly, willy-nilly just jumping into this. But I'm um, like, it has the... Dandelion root, which I actually have a tea for that, but it has a dandelion root, which is supposed to even out your hormones and allow you to uh, cleanse your body of it. And um, and this one I'm taking now because what is it, March like 17th, because I want to slowly get this out of my system. And so what I'm going to do is take this tea up until the point uh, up until this runs out and it's 16 packs and um i don't really know how many packs i got left but it should last about two weeks and then i have the actual dandelion root tea um which i'm going to be taking after that so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna let it go through my system and detox whatever extra stuff i have in there because i know it's not going to really take out the birth control but what it'll do is take out the extra stuff i have in my system and then this one will level out my hormones and take the extra stuff out of my system probably up until mid-April because it's two weeks left in this month. And this one will probably last until the first week of April. And so this one, 
I'll wait maybe about a week or so because they say you can take it up to 30 days and then wait but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those wait and then start this which is gonna um help me level out my hormones and detox my body as well and that's what dandelion root does is level out your hormones and like I said the biggest thing in the depo shot is I think it's progesterone I think that's how you say it and then after that, I looked up stuff that I have to take in order to be healthy pregnant. So uh, what I do is I drink uh, maybe two cups of the Yogi, Yogi Detox Tea. I drink that. Then before then, I was just doing lemon and water, and I ran out of lemons. So I went and got that, and then I'm going to buy some more lemons. So I'm going to be doing that and lemon and water because I know lemon wouldn't be wouldn't badly affect me going with the yoga detox tea. I'm not trying to kill myself, so I'm not trying to take that plus some something else that doesn't go together. And so I've been drinking that once a day, um, which is two cups of it. I use one tea bag with two cups of it, and I drink one cup of it, and then I drink another cup of it later on. And then I do my prenatals that I was actually prescribed from the doctor's office, and I wait a little bit after that. I wait at least um, an hour or so after I've drinking the tea to do my prenatal so I would do it before but I don't want to automatically just wipe that out my system so I try to make sure that I at least take one prenatal a day and hoping that somehow it stays in my system and then I got the B12 supplement they're gummies that I got from Walmart um, they said that this is good for creating an environment for a baby it's actually supposed to be for um creating like I said a good environment for the baby but also it's supposed to help like just in case um you have any breath defects early on and usually those happen before you even know that you're pregnant so um I got that and I got Viatex I think V-I-T-E-X I got that and that's what level out your hormones then I also got um what is the other one? Folic acid. I got that, and they said that's good to create a safe and healthy environment for a baby. I'm not just jumping into it. My phone about to die. I'm not just jumping into getting pregnant without actually trying to be healthy while being pregnant. So um, I'm going to do those things. And then I got this, which I might get another one of these. I got this seven-day cleanse from... Uh, Walmart as well. I was looking up the other one from GNC and uh, I was looking at a woman. I, I don't know her name, but I was looking at her on detox and she said she got pregnant maybe two months after she detoxed after being off the shot and she only got one shot just like me. And so um, I looked this cleanse up and I couldn't find anything about it. And it's Nature's Secret 7 Day Ultimate Cleanse. And the first one well, you take both of the pills. So the first one, first part is where um, it's herb, it's multi herb digest and detox support and multi fiber colon cleanse. And this is all to just help my liver and in, inside of me cleanse out. It's not. I don't think that it's just gonna end up just cleansing everything on its own and stuff like that. So um, what I'm gonna do? So this is my plan. My plan is to take this detox tea up until the first week or second week of April when my thing is supposed to go out. My thing is supposed to go out. My depo shot is supposed to go out on the 27th. So I take this up until the first or second week of April. Then after that, I do this, which is supposed to help cleanse and balance my hormones. And so um, I felt like this would be a good thing to do. Then after that, which will, this will probably last up until the second week of April, somewhere up in there, maybe probably the third week of April, because I might end up getting another box of this, which is Detox D. Um, and I'm going to do a review on this once I get done, depending on, like, if I'm going to get another one. And so I'm doing that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a the seven day cleanse after that so i would say the third to fourth week of april so i would say probably the fourth week of april the week that is actually supposed to go out is when i'm going to do this cleanse and i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna take the vitex i think that's the name of it v-i-t-e-x and it helps to balance your hormones and i'm going to take that um after that so 
whatever hormones I do have left in my body that my liver couldn't cleanse out, that this didn't help my liver cleanse it out, because that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to help your liver do it. It's not just like you're going to take it and then your body's just going to be rid of all the hormones. It just doesn't work like that. So um, I'm going to take that and whatever my body doesn't clean out hormones as far as progesterone, I'm going to use the Vitex, which is supposed to help balance that out. I'm going to be using that along with the B12 and the folic acid. That's when I'm going to start taking those things because I want my body to be healthy enough to uh, handle a pregnancy. Now, um, I we feel like we're emotionally ready to try again. It's not exactly like we're just going to get pregnant automatically. So I am going to bring y'all on this journey to um, pretty much talk to y'all about the things that's going on. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all during the update.